And Coach, let's just start with uh, your opening thoughts on uh, today's game against Eastern Michigan. Yeah, I thought we had a nice first quarter, um, really shared the basketball, made some shots. Um, and then uh, tough going into the break. We just gave up too many points. Uh, a couple of the keys for us today were to rebound the basketball and keep them out of the paint. And unfortunately, we didn't do a great job uh, across the board of doing that. Um, I, I thought you know, Eastern did a good job of switching up their defenses. Um, it kind of changed our pace a little bit on the offensive end. Um, but you know what? I just saw the group, and, and we're talking about toughness and defense and you know, having a will to guard somebody. I know we gave a couple kids probably career highs today. Uh, so obviously, we're in a little bit of a rut, but uh, we got a lot of basketball to play. I uh, want to make sure we keep them confident and get better at some of the things we need to improve on. You changed your starting lineup the last game. How, how are you liking it two games and now the, what you've seen? Yeah, I think we're just we're looking for, you know, people who are going to commit to what Miami basketball is all about. You know, the little things, the toughness, um, you know, uh, Kendall and Sab give us a little bit more offense to start the game. And I, I think the key is, can you can you hold that up through more than just the first quarter or the first couple minutes? And that's what we weren't able to do. Uh, and then when we were down, the effort we were showing is the effort we need to show, you know, from the tip all the way through, especially, you know, I, I don't care when anybody anybody's record is in this league. Um, if you don't bring your toughness, um, any team can beat you. And that's what I was disappointed about coming on our home floor. And I thought Eastern was the more confident team. And, and we have to be able to, when, when they do punch in the face, can you kind of withstand and raise your level and, and we saw moments of that and we got to figure out how to bring those moments that happen late in the game and do it early on in, in that second quarter. It seemed like you guys took a lot of charges today. Was that something you'd like to see? Yeah, I wanted to see that from the tip. I think that's what we had talked about and worked on. And you know, if we get beat on defense, you got your 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 second and third line of defense to help you. Um, and, and that's that's the blueprint of what we want to do. And unfortunately, it was a little bit too late when we started doing it. Uh, but we'll watch that and hopefully build uh, build on that when we when we play them again. Kind of outside the game a little bit. It's alumni weekend for you guys. How nice has it been to have them back so far? And I know you guys got some more stuff planned today. It's been an awesome um, last couple of days. A couple uh, stopped through the office, and, and for me to just to meet a lot of people from different decades. We've had um, some of our young alums back. We had a kind of the the older crowd that's been kind of staples through all of, uh, the different coaching changes and all that. Um, we had the alumni game this morning, which was awesome, and and more of the young bucks played in that one. But it's good just to spend um, time with them. Our players got to spend some time with them this morning and and uh, just kind of build that relationship and and that's stuff that's going to be important for down the road with our program um, so very excited about the ones who um, were able to come back today all right thank you coach thank you